there people my name is MC Dafsi, your YouTube historic entertainer there have been a whole lot of argument a whole lot of controversies as to where Nigeria's first capital territory is situated some would say ah it's situated in Calabar some would say it's situated in Lagos State first while some would say Kaduna some would say it's Kwara State in Lauren Jeba while some would say uh, it's uh, Zungiru where exactly is Nigeria's first capital territory situated? Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'll be showing you, I'll be telling you the exact place, according to our research, the exact place where Nigeria's first capital territory is situated. So, so just stay tuned to this YouTube channel. I remain your stream, MC Dapsi, your YouTube history. And then don't forget to hit the like button. Turn on the notification button, subscribe, and also drop a comment. Thank you very much. There are three entities that made up Nigeria Northern Protectorate, Southern Protectorate, and Lagos Colony. Meanwhile, the story of where Nigeria's first capital territory is situated or was situated cannot be complete without telling what Nigeria first existed as before. In a country. Nigeria first existed as a Royal Niger company. It's a company called Royal Niger before uh, it metamorphosized into uh, protectorates and then later protectorates and Colombia later it became a country. So I'll be talking about first the Northern Protectorate. The Northern Protectorate came into existence as a result of the Royal Niger Company rights that was sold directly to the British government at the sum of £865,000. That's the open sum. The right was sold directly to the British, so the British have a direct right over the mining revenue of the Royal Niger Company. That was how the Northern Protectorate came into existence. That was in 1900, and thereafter, Sir Lord Lugard was made. The High Commissioner to oversee the affair of the Northern Protectorate in 1900. Sir Lord Lugard looked for a position where he could, he could cite the capital territory. He found Lokoja, Kogi State, as the capital territory. That was the first capital territory of the Northern Protectorate. After two years, he moved up to Jeba. Yes, Jeba in Kwara State, where he stayed for a short period and before he moved upstream again to Zungeru in Niger State. Zungeru was where he spent a whole lot of years, he spent 10 good years in Zungeru because Zungeru is centralized and it has water body 7 where you can easily enter and exit, you can easily get an entry and exit out of the territory. And after 10 years spent in Zungeru, Niger State, capital territory he moved again upstream to Kaduna Kaduna is a place where he lost the most yes why because Kaduna is even much more easily accessible because that's he has two water but it's seven it river Kaduna itself and then river Niger seven it so it has more easy access entry and exit into the territory as a matter of fact when we got preferred having the whole country and Nigeria as a whole capital territory situated in Kaduna but that was cut short that's a story for another day so that is exactly how the capital territory moves from that of the northern protectorate that's how it moved from Lokoja in Kogi it moved straight to Jeba in Kwara State and from Jeba it moved to Sungeru in Niger State and from Niger State it moved to Kaduna State, yes, that's where the four capital territories of the Northern Protectorate were situated. So now on to the Southern Protectorate. The Southern Protectorate was initially called the Oil River Protectorate because of its richness in palm oil in 1884. It expanded and later was renamed the Niger Coast Protectorate in 1893. In 1900, it was later merged together with the Royal Niger Company right to become the Southern Protectorate with its capital in Calabar. Following that, a 
the new high commissioner was appointed to oversee the affair of the protectorate was Ralph Moore from 1900 to 1904. But because of his failing health, he handed over to Egerton Walter, who served till 1912 before handing over to Lord Lugard, who became the Governor General of both the Northern Protectorate and the Southern Protectorate. So now on to the Lagos Colony. Lagos Colony has been an annex of British Empire from way back 1861. Though son of uh, Akinto of Akintoye of Badusumo, he tried resisting the secession for about 11 days, but later he capitulated and then Lagos was formally declared a colony in 1862 with its capital still in Lagos. Over after many years, in 1906, the Lagos colony was merged with the Southern Protectorate to become one with its capital still in Lagos. Then in 1914, the Lagos colony together with the Southern Protectorate, which has been merged in 1906 to the war, was merged with the Northern in 1914, it was amalgamated in 1914 to become Nigeria with its capital still in Lagos. The capital remained in Lagos, the capital of the country Nigeria remained in Lagos up until through independence till December 12, 1991, before it was moved to Abuja. So, in brief, in summary, capital territory of Nigeria as a whole was first in Lagos before it was moved to Abuja in 1991, December 12th. But before then, prior to independence, prior to Nigeria being amalgamated in 1914, each protectorate and the, and the colony that formed Nigeria has their own different capital territories. For example, like that of like the Northern Protectorate, has four different capital territories. The first was in Ogi, Lokoja, the second was in Jeba, Kwarasti, while the third was in Zungeo, United States, and the fourth was in Kaduna, Kaduna State. While that of the Southern Protectorate was just in Calabar, Kaduna State, while that of the Lagos Colony remains in Lagos. So imagine these three territories together to become a country called Nigeria has its first capital territory in the state. I hope this video has been educative, informative and uh, entertaining as well. So please do well to hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification button and as well remember to drop a comment to see how far we're going. I remain to your stream and see that's it. Thank you. God bless you. I love you.